Hello YouTube. Today I want to talk about <coughs> something that happened a long time ago in Missouri. Does anybody know what happened on July 10th, 1981 in Skidmore, Missouri? A lot of us in Missouri do. Uh, do. So let's talk about it. There was a guy called, the town had like 430 some people in it at the time. And there was this guy named Ken Rex McRoy. I think that's his, how you say his last name, McRoy or something like that. <coughs> he was the town bully. Oh, he was like 47 years old. Over the years, he'd been charged with several crimes. These include burglary, stealing, intimidating witnesses, uh, assault on women, rape, uh, sex with uh, minors. He seemed to like girls between the ages of uh, 12 and 14. But anytime he got into it with somebody, he would shoot him. He shot one guy on his own property. Um, the guy led, shot him in the neck with a shotgun. Then one time, he had this this girl that he'd had since she was like 14, and she was an adult by now. But her and her daughter went into the store in Skidmore. And uh, the store owner, can't remember his first name, his last name was Bowen Camp, accused, asked the little girl to put the, uh, the candy bag that she'd taken. When uh, Ken McElroy heard about this, he flew into a rage. He was mad. And the next day, he confronted the guy. Uh, oh, the other guy, I'm, I'm sorry, the other guy that he shot, he shot in the stomach. This is the guy, he, behind the back of the store, on the loading ramp, he shot him in the neck. The guy moved and he just like barely got him. But this is what started his downfall. He was arrested for it. And there was a new prosecutor, and they convicted him. For, uh, he got two years, but they let him out. And uh, oh, and during this time, even the police were scared of him. The cops, the local sheriff, and all them—they were scared of him. This is just so you guys know why nobody was really getting any help. So, he went back to a bar and he, it was called D&G's and he was talking about how he was going to do a uh, bowling camp in and uh, because he had a firearm, he broke his bail or whatever it was, the conditions of his bail and he was put back and arrested. But it was released, released again, and the next day, the townspeople, there's a bunch of them, probably close to like 90, went to the Legion Hall and there was discussion with the mayor and the sheriff about what to do about this guy. The sheriff said, start a neighborhood watch, and he gets in his car and leaves. He was one of the ones that was scared of this guy. The townspeople found out that uh, Ken McElroy was at, just down the street at the D&G bar and they went down there. 
some of them were in the war. He was in there with his that woman that he had married at a real young age. And when he left, he got in the, his truck. She got in the passenger side. And the townspeople surrounded the truck. Just, they said there was 60, some people said it was close to 90, but there was at least 60 people surrounding this truck. I said Ken McEnroy lit a cigarette, and about that time, 10 or 15 shots rang out. They don't know, but it was a bunch of shots. Trina, the, the girl, jumps from the passenger side, and somebody grabs her and pulls her to safety, even though she was not in harm, but that wasn't who they was after. Uh, the people just walked off, disappeared, dispersed, and uh, Trina was the only one that called the, the sheriff, and state troopers and the sheriff showed up. And She says it was uh, Dale Clement, a guy named Dale Clement, that shot uh, Ken. But they found two different types of shell casings, one from a small caliber barrel, uh, like a 22, and another one from like a 8 million, some say 8 million miles, or some say a 30-30. Either way, one was a small caliber and one was a large caliber. And uh, so they questioned this Dell guy. He denied it, and nobody else said anything about it. You know, they said they didn't know who done it, and uh, they questioned all kinds of townspeople. Nobody seemed to know anything. So. No charges were filed against anybody. Trina later files a lawful, unlawful uh, death lawsuit against the uh, town, against Dale Clement, against the mayor, against the sheriff, and some other people for six million dollars. And it ends up getting settled out of uh, court for. $17,600. To this day, nobody's been arrested for it. And some of the people who have since passed away, old age or whatever, and nobody's going to their deathbed saying that anybody did this. I hate bullies. I don't like them at all. Uh, and this guy not only seemed to be a bully, and, and he also seemed to be like a pedophile. So I have no sympathy for him. None. But the question is, that I'm wanting to know from you guys, do you think they planned this in this Legion Hall meeting, or do you think that when they surrounded the truck, maybe they was going to uh, beat him up or something, and it was just a sp spontaneous thing where somebody shot. You know, what do you think? I think that they went there to approach him, uh, maybe, maybe whoop his ass, I don't know. Maybe tell him that they had enough of him. And um, I think somebody, or maybe a couple people, since it was two caliber bullets, two, you know, two different shell casings found, decided to take matters in their own hand. Either way, I don't blame them. They weren't getting any help from the law enforcement, local law enforcement. So, I would say 
they had to do what they had to do. You know, whether it was wrong or right, they had to do something. I um, watched a few videos on this and documentaries on this before I did this. But if I got anything wrong, uh, I apologize to the city of Skidmore because I have the utmost respect for all of you in that town. And uh, I thank you guys for watching this video. And uh, please leave a comment. Tell me what your, th your thoughts are on it, if you have any views on it. And if you want to look this up yourself, just look up Skidmore, Missouri. S-K-I-D-M-O-R-E. Skidmore, Missouri. Look it up, and that will come up. I guarantee you. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.